Fox 16 News at 5.30 starts now. And UAMS researchers say a form of vitamin E could help protect people who are exposed to high levels of radiation. The researchers say there's been talk of sending some of this vitamin E to help the people in Japan in the next coming weeks, but nothing's really been confirmed at this point. Fox 16's Josh Rosenthal shows us it's available in the States, but you probably don't need it. Right now, radiation is a big concern all over the globe. In Japan, where nuclear plants are crippled, and even in Arkansas, where just last week, monitors found extremely small traces of radioactive material in the air. Problem is... There are very few things that are uh, effective uh, in, in, as a radiation protector. But Dr. Martin Howard Jensen says that could be changing thanks to a type of super vitamin E found in palm oil and here in Arkansas, in rice bran. Basically, studies show the super vitamin E might counteract effects of radioactivity and it won't cause other problems. This is totally without side effects. The super vitamin E isn't FDA approved as an anti-radiation supplement yet, and even though you can get it from a number of companies that sell it over the counter, Dr. Howard Jensen says you might not want to put your order in just yet. For starters, a little vial like this one of pure super vitamin E would cost you around a thousand bucks. It would help you with things like counteracting heart disease. It is vitamin E, but if you're just a normal person living in Arkansas concerned about radiation, chances are you don't need this. In other words, it'll probably help the military and first responders down the road, just not now. You get a, a safe and effective drug that can be used uh, in, in scenarios where people get exposed to radiation. A little vial with a whole lot of potential. UAMS researchers just got more funding to continue looking into this type of vitamin E and they've still got lots of questions. For example, they don't know what the right dose of it would be or when would be the best time to take it. Okay, and you made it pretty clear. We're not just talking about regular vitamin E peel, pills. We're talking about a super vitamin E. So, but what I'm wondering though is we know that it could potentially help people with radiation poisoning. Mm -hmm. What about other types of things can it help with? Well, I mean, vitamin E is good for you, so people might want to take it anyway. Heart health, brain health, immune system. It's kid. just if you're living in right. Arkansas like we are, you probably don't need it for radiation. Especially if it costs a thousand dollars a vial. Yeah, really. That, and that's the pure kind, which sure. you would assume is more expensive than mm -hmm. a mixture that you could buy over the counter. Okay, makes Thank sense. You. All right, here's the Fox 16 bottom line on this story. Dr. Martin Howard Jensen thinks the super vitamin E could be approved as an anti radiation supplement in three to five years. UAMS is researching the topic along with the U.S. Armed Forces Radiobiology Research Institute in Maryland. The group's Researchers found similar results. Today, the Arkansas Martin Luther King Commission. Now, from Arkansas's news and high definition leader, THV first in HD. This is today's THV at six. Thank you. UAMS conducting groundbreaking research that could one day save lives. They hope to create a super vitamin that could protect people from dangerous radiation, like that being leaked from the nuclear power plant in Japan. Find out how it works after weather. A very windy evening tonight, and it's only going to turn colder at Joey the Garden Cat. Oh, and Tom Brannan. Weekday mornings on today's THV. All eyes are on Japan as the nuclear crisis there continues to unfold. But for the for those dealing most costly with it, a form of protection is under development right here in Arkansas. Researchers at UAMS may have found what they say is a safe and effective radiation treatment. THV's Lisa Hudson has this story. Japan's nuclear crisis has exposed dozens of its crisis workers to airborne radiation. Potassium iodine is one source of treatment for exposure. It's not a fix-all, but researchers at UAMS say they may have found one. It's something we got into about uh, five years ago. Dr. Martin Howard Jensen, director of radiation health at UAMS, in conjunction with the U.S. Armed Forces Radiobiology Research Institute, have found a form of vitamin E may help protect against high levels of radiation exposure. With gamma tocotrienol, which is basically a uh, super vitamin E, uh, mice who receive a radiation dose uh, that uh, will kill 100% within two weeks of exposure, uh, you convert all of them to long-term survivors. The potent form of vitamin E provides a number of other beneficial effects, but Dr. Howard Jensen says its protection from radiation exposure is groundbreaking. The 
two main organs that uh, determine if somebody lives or dies after exposure to radiation are the bone marrow and the intestine. And uh, we have found that gamma tocotrienol protects in both organ systems. Dr. Howard Jensen says the finding could open up business opportunities for Arkansas. Where gamma tocotrienol is found, uh, it's mainly in palm oil, uh, which we don't have palm trees here, uh, but it's also in rice bran oil. And, and we are the uh, capital of the United States in terms of rice production. And the rice bran is uh, currently not used for high level uh, you know, processing. A win-win. New product manufacturing that in turn could create jobs. For those in harm's way, a super vitamin that could save lives. In Little Rock, Lisa Hudson, today's THV. Approval and funding for advanced development studies on the vitamin are pending. From there, it will go to the FDA for approval. Okay, Westmore joins us now. Are you ready for the championship I games? Am.